Hello, how is everybody today? I am coming to you on Thursday for our Craft with Heart card making. So if you've been following me, you know that I've been coming on here on Thursday and sharing the cards that I'm creating from our card making subscription kit. And we don't have many cards left to make. Our new box will be sent out in September. So I'll be looking forward to that new box. But if you are not familiar with this, this is everything that you get in the card subscription box. You have a little black ink, a block, some confetti stars, a stamp set, uh, shaker foam and acetate for shaker cards. You have easy to follow instructions and your base cards, envelopes, die cuts. So it comes all in this little box like this. And these are all the cards that I have created so far. These are the envelopes. So you even have envelopes to go with them. Now, um, today I am creating, let's see, we are up to card number nine and I am going to be creating card number nine. This is the last uh, bit of die cuts from our die cut sheet. So you can see it says card nine die cuts and I'm gonna go ahead and punch those out. They're so easy to punch out. They are practically falling out. So I've got some stars. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to make one just like the instructions. And then I'll take that second card and I will um, bling it up just a little bit. For those of you who are experienced card makers and you have a lot of supplies in your stash, um, I just like to show different things that you can do to the cards. All right, so there's those. I can throw those away. And these are our base, our bases for this card. And I'm going to use my own ink and block because I already have some. Look at the bases. The bases are pre-printed. It's got some little splatters on there and some strings for the balloon. So let me take these pieces and set them aside. And I will create this card. You can see how fast and easy this is. I will create this card just as the uh, photo shows. So it has the little, oh, I didn't punch that out. Has the little banner that we will stamp on. And it shows it right here. And our balloons are just attached to the end of the strings. Now our little foam, shaker foam that we got in the box, I like to save it when you make a shaker card, you're only using the outside ring. So you've got all these little foam squares in the middle to use, which is great because you can use them to pop up um, the items on your card and that just gives it extra dimension. I'm gonna put this one down actually and have it kind of under that one. So I've got one up and one down. Put this one over here. And now I've got some little stars. If I can pick it up. And let's see, it says hip hip hooray on it. I'll look at my stamp set and see what I want to, if I want to do that same sentiment because we've got a lot of sentiments on this stamp set. This is kind of a birthday theme card. So we can go with 
um, happy birthday or hip hip hooray. Let's just do hip hip hooray. And I want to use the foam that is included with the stamp because when you use the foam to stamp on, it helps give you a nice, um, good, clear, even image. I like to wipe off the extra ink with my stamp chamois. And then we will just put this on the card. See how easy that was? Quick and easy, isn't And that's cute. Okay, so for my second card, let's see what I want to do. And if you've been following me, you know I like to turn it. So I have a horizontal and a vertical card. But look, I've got these balloon strings on here. And I kind of took a look at this, kind of looked through my stash, and I pulled out my scallop circle thin cut with a lemonade cardstock. So I think I'm going to use that on there and add my, and I'm just gonna place it on here so that it covers up the balloon strings. And I think I'll put my, uh, sentiment on here and I will, I will add my balloons but let me show you how that I will do this. So in our scallop circle thin cut is still available. It's item number Z369 and it's just $7.95. So let's put some adhesive on here and I'm going to add this and I'm going to put that right over so it covers up the balloon strings. Now let's go ahead and stamp. I'm going to stamp happy birthday on this one. So let's pull this off. Happy birthday. And that should fit. Yes, it fits. And we'll ink this one up. go. Now I do want to mention that when our stamp set, your stamp set that comes in your subscription box and every time you get a new box you will get a new stamp set and these come in this little Ziploc bag like this. This kind of helps reduce the cost of the box by not including the envelope. But I want to mention that you can actually purchase our stamp envelopes. These stamps are from the last two boxes that I have. And you can get a set of three envelopes for just $5.95 and it's item Z335. So I went ahead and ordered some so that I would have um, a nice envelope to put my stamp set in. So I'll be putting that in my um, in with all my other stamp sets pretty soon. And, um, and also too, I mean, look at these great sentiments. I could use any of these other sentiments on my cards as I, as I want to. Okay, so let's put, I'm gonna put this on here and I'm just gonna put it directly on the card and I'm gonna back it up just a little bit. Now let's put a balloon on here and I'm gonna use foam tape on the back of this balloon. I'm gonna pop it up and I'm gonna position the balloon so that it hides the straight edge here. So you don't want it that way or this way. I'm going to do it this way. So it kind of hides that straight edge. And I think I'm going to put, let me see how I want to do these before I decide. 
and do this like this. I'm going to put this one down. And do it at an angle a little bit because we want them to be kind of flying around. And I'll pop that one up. Now, these balloons don't have strings, but that's not a problem. I'm going to use my journaling pen. I love our journaling pens, and I'm just going to draw a string. How about that? I'm going to make this one kind of go through. There. Now let's add, let's add some stars. One more star here. Let's see. Sure, I got adhesive on that one. I'll do that one right there. And let's see, do I have anything else I might want to add? I've got a couple sparkles. Just to make it a little bit sparkly. And I feel like this one now is maybe geared more towards a little girl's birthday. I need one more sparkle because I like to do threes. There we go. So this one would be great for a little boy. And then I just kind of frilled it up there with a little bit of a, a scallop circle and kind of made that a little bit more girly to send for a girl birthday. So there is our Craft with Heart cards today. I believe I have three left. I'll be coming back uh, with the, the next couple of Thursdays and sharing the last three cards that I have to create with you. So thanks for joining me and everybody have a great day.